everybody and welcome back to my channel so in the series the next question that we are going to see today is this question which says that we have to merge two sorted arrays without using any extra space now before starting with this question to all the people who like my videos they they see my videos but they do not subscribe to my channel so please don't do that and just subscribe to the channel also if you want uh, the short notes for all the content that i upload you can find it on my instagram handle i leave i leave the link in the description box also i upload all the codes related to all my videos on my github account so i will leave the link in the description box if you want to uh, see the codes you can go and see from there now before doing this question i would really recommend first go and see how we how the merge algorithm works with extra space so that you have a clearer picture in mind i will leave the video a link or somewhere above in the cards you can go and see that as well so let's see what we have to do in this particular question now see we have to merge these two sorted arrays as a single sorted array so this means that after my algorithm works so the output should be something like this so after the algorithm my algorithm is completed the output should look like this which means that in combination they both are sorted and no extra space has been used so the array 1 should look like this and the array 2 should look like this Now let's see how we can do this. Uh, we can implement this algorithm, or we can do this question. So a very basic approach which comes to our mind when you see this question is that we'll just compare the first numbers. So over here we see okay, one is smaller and hence it is in the correct position, and then we increment it over here. Now we compare five and two. Now we see okay, five is greater than two, so this means two will be coming over here. but the question comes is that where this 5 will go because after 2 is being swapped the arrays will look like this if we just simply swap 2 and 5 so the arrays will look like this now over here you can see that this array is no longer sorted so we cannot just simply swap them but we will be have to but we will have to find the place where this number 5 will come now we know that this array is already sorted this array is already sorted we place this to over here so this place is technically empty now now we want the uh, we want a position in this array where my this 5 will come so we know that 5 is going to come in between 3 and 8 so what we are going to do is we are going to iterate through the rest of the array and for all the numbers which are less than 5 we will shift them to one position in the left hand side so 3 is less than 5 so 3 will come over here now this position is empty we are going to see for 8 now 8 is greater than 5 which means that 8 is 5 is going to come before 8 so this is the position where our 5 will come so after this after this iteration my array will look like this the two arrays will look like this now in the next iteration we have number 9 and 3 So now when we check these two, so nine is greater, hence three will come over here. We have nine, our uh, element which has to be inserted now in this array, and this space is empty because three has been placed over here. Now when we see it over here, so we are going to shift the numbers. We are going to iterate for these numbers, and we are going to shift the numbers. So five is less than nine, so five will come here. Eight is also less than nine, eight will come here. But thirteen is not less than nine, hence we will not shift it, and hence our nine will come over here. So the next iteration, the numbers are like this. So the next two pointers are ten and five. So clearly. 10 uh, is not in the correct position 5 will be coming over here so we'll have 1 2 3 5 15 and 20 now this position is empty and we have 8 9 and 13 now we will we have to place this 10 in this array so we are going to place it now see what in the second array we we are just we are just uh, uh, going or iterating the whole array and we are just finding a place where this can be inserted which is which is similar to uh, the one pass of our insertion sort in insertion sort we do the same thing that the left half of the array is sorted and we try to place this element in the sorted array so over here we are going to shift this so 8 will come over here then 9 will come over here and 10 will come over here eventually 
so we can we are going to do this this procedure unless and until we have both the arrays sorted so let me just move this a little bit okay so in the next iteration we have a pointer at 15 and this one is at 8 so we'll have 1 2 3 5 now 8 is less than 15 so 8 will become moving coming over here we'll have 20 over here and we will be inserting 15 over here now this place is empty this will be empty so 9 is less than 15 yes so this gets shifted then 10 is also less than 15 so when this got shifted 13 is also less than 7 this got shifted now as we have come to the end of this array so we know that at the last position that this number is going to come so we'll have 15 over here and the next iteration we are going to compare 20 and 9 now 20 uh, is uh, clearly greater than 9 so 9 will come over here this place becomes empty and we are going we have to place 20 in this array so 10 is less than 20 13 is also less than th uh, 20 15 is also less than 20 and so this is the place where 20 will come now if you see both our arrays are sorted now uh, let's talk about the time complexity of this particular algorithm now the number of iterations are the number of elements in this array the first array and for every iteration we are we are traveling the this whole array in the worst case scenario so the the time that uh, the time complexity will be n into m where n is the number of elements in array 1 and m is the number of elements in array 2 so these are the number of iterations and this is the amount done uh, amount of work done for every iteration so our time complexity for this algorithm is order of n into m and space complexity is order of 1 because we have not used any stack space or auxiliary space now this is not a very good complexity let's see how we can improve this complexity now in the second approach what we are going to do is we are first we are going to see what was the sh uh, shortcoming in the previous uh, approach because of which this uh, huge time complexity was coming now see in the previous method what we saw was that we had to insert the element in the second array to key to just uh, uh, ensure that the second array is already always sorted now we are not going to use this particular approach in our in our efficient approach what we are going to do is we are slow we will slowly and gradually bring the elements together which should be together in our result which means is that let's just see the arrays which were initially now see over here one and two are 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 uh, at a very uh, distant position from each other that is they are very far from each other whereas they they have to come next to each other in our sorted array so what we are going to do is we are going to slowly and gradually decrease their distance and bring them together now let's see how we will do this what we are going to do is we are going to use two pointers uh, and suppose i have placed my one pointer over here now the question comes where the second pointer will be placed so what i'm going to do is i will have a gap i will decide what my gap will be so the total sum, the total number of elements that we have are n plus m so initially we can take the gap as n plus m by 2 so over here we have 6 plus 4 by 2 which comes out to be 5 now uh, over here we can uh, we can just place our second pointer at the fifth element that is this is the first second third fourth and fifth so over here we'll have our uh, second pointer we are going to compare these two if they are uh, if they are in in the correct position just with respect to these two elements only we will not do anything but if they are not we are going to swap them now see one is smaller than 15 this means that they are in the correct position hence we'll move further next we are going to compare 5 and 20 they are also in the correct position now we'll move further next we have 9 and 2 so first we were just iterating over the uh, only this array one itself now we are going to iterate on both the arrays together so over here we'll have 9 and 2 now 9 is less is greater than 2 so hence we are going to swap them so over here we'll have 2 and over here we'll have 9 now the next iteration we have 10 and 3 
10 and 3. So this is also wrong. So we'll just swap them. We have 3 here and we have 10 here. Now we have 5 and 8. Now this will be also swapped because they are in the incorrect order. Now 20 and 30. So these will be also swapped. Now after this iteration, my arrays will look like this. Okay, so now let's see what will be the next step. Now see, if I keep the gap same, so it won't be of any use because if you will compare the numbers, they will be in the correct order. So we have to decrease our gap now so that the numbers which should be uh, in the output very close to each other can get closer. So now uh, up till now we had the gap of 5, so I'm going to divided by 2 again so 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 and we will take the seal value for the same and this is a very important step because uh, in the in the end you will come to know why this step is very important so over here we have 2.5 uh, so it becomes 3 so one pointer will be over here and the other pointer will be over here now we're going to compare these two so they're in the correct order now we compare 5 and 3 so they are not in the correct order. So we are going to swap them. So we'll have 3 over here and we'll have 5 over here. Next we'll compare 2 and 8. So they are in the correct order. 5 and 13 also in the correct order. 8 and 9 also in the correct order. But 13 and 10 are not. So we'll have 10 over here and we'll have 13 over here. Now next we'll be comparing 9 and 15. They are in the correct order. And then 13 and 20. They are also in the correct order. We are not going further because there is no element over here. So after this iteration, the elements will look like 1, 3, 2, 5, 8, 10 in the first array. And the second array, we have 9, 13, 15 and 20. Now the gap decreases. So we have 3 divided by 2 and we'll take the seal value. So it becomes 2. So one, L, one pointer will be over here and one pointer will be over here. Now when we check these two are in the correct position with respect to each other, then we check 3 and 2. They are not. So we'll place 1, 2 and 3. Th uh, that means they are swapped. Now next we are going to compare these two. So we will have 3 and 5. They are also in the correct order. Then we have 5, 8. They are also in the correct order. 8 and 10 also in the correct order. But 10 and 9 are not. So we will have 9 over here and we will have 10 over here. Now next we'll, we will be comparing 10 and 13, they are correct, 13 and 15 are also correct and 15 and 20 are also correct. So now we'll have 1, 2, 3. 5, 8 and 9 in the first array and the second array will have 10, 13, 15 and 20. So see we have got our uh, sorted arrays. So now let's talk about the time complexity. Uh, now before that uh, let me just first tell you why this seal was important. Now see over here we just saw it that they are in the correct order but now see if you go to the next iteration what will happen? I will do 2 by 2 and this will come out to be 1. Now if this is 1, so both the pointers will be pointing to the same number. Now if they are pointing to the same number, then uh, obviously there will be no swaps present. And, and now we know that when the gap is 1, so we have to stop. Now you might have a question that the gap might be less than 1. So this won't be there because we are taking the sealed value. Now suppose... We had, we have, we, we didn't take seal value over here. So 3 by 2 would have come 1 and we would have stopped. But this is not the right answer because 3 and 2 are not in the correct position. Hence, we have to take the seal value so that all the possibilities are being checked. Now, let's talk about the time complexity for this algorithm. Now, the number of iterations that are uh, that we have in this uh, algorithm depends upon the gap. So initially, my gap was m plus m by two. Then it then we uh, then we make it m plus m by four and so on. So basically, uh, when the gap that is n plus m by two to the power k becomes 1. This is the time that we stop and k is the number of iterations. In every iteration we divide by 2. So when this condition is true, so the algorithm stops. 
So according to this, if we take out the value of k, so we get n plus m is equals to 2 to the power k, and hence k is equals to log n plus m base 2. So these are the number of iterations, and in every iterations at max we have to travel all the elements. So the the, the work done for every iteration is n plus m and the number of iterations are log n plus m. So this is the time complexity for this algorithm, which is much better than n into m. So this is the time complexity and the space complexity is of order of 1 because no stack space or no auxiliary space has been taken. So this was how you can merge two sorted arrays without using any extra space. And uh, I would really recommend you to first try the coding part on your own and then jump to the uh, coding solution which I have uploaded on my GitHub account and keep coding. Thank you.